Hi, Gary here. You know, recently I met with a 22-year-old uh, about starting off in life, first job, and everything else. And the very first thing we talked about is saving first, spending second. And by the way, when we look at our client base, that's the only common denominator they all have. That they actually, at some point early on, saved a lot of money so they could accumulate wealth successfully over time. Now, you'd say, well, what does that mean with where you are currently? Well, <laughs> switching from that to then spending money, I'll say more frivolously, or uh, expanding upon making things a little nice for yourself, that becomes a question at what point you do that. And the reason this came up is because I recently had to get a new car because I got in a little accident, no big deal, didn't get hurt or anything, and I had a 2013 year vintage, and I went to a 2016 year vintage, which, you know, it's a three, four year old car. You say, why would I do that? Well, it's just an area I, I just can't see throwing, in my view, personally, $30,000 away or 40 or 50,000, I just don't feel like doing that. Now, but I can tell you this, when I go on vacation and I go overseas, I try to fly first class, I try to make sure we've got a tour that takes care of everything, I don't have to think about a thing because I want a total relaxation. So it probably costs me and my wife and others three, four, five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 more for that, where other people say, I'm not gonna do that. So the point is, <laughs> you know, you do what makes sense to you. If you did the save first and, and spend second, it then switches at some point if you're okay with that yourself, living with your money. Money's a funny thing, everybody looks at it differently. And where I don't really care about a new car, uh, and you do, but I really want to have a really nice vacation, and it's not as important to you, or whatever else it is, doesn't matter. I can't have all of that because it would be unbelievably expensive, nor can you. But whatever it is, makes your life a little better, maybe brings you happy, maybe brings you joy, maybe it's experiential, whatever it happens to be that makes it really special for you, for what you did over those years to accumulate the wealth you did, and then it's still gonna be around, it's still accumulating, it's getting, a lot of money's going to the kids, whatever it happens to be, all those other things are still gonna happen. So it's just your own personal choice. And don't let guilt or embarrassment or any of the other stuff come into play because it's got nothing to do with it. It's all about how you employ what you've worked very hard for over many years to then enjoy certain things uh, that you really wanna enjoy with you and your family and others and everyone else around you. So think about that next time you're looking at buying a new car, going on vacation, whatever it happens to be. Till next time, enjoy.